Hi, everybody out there on the World Wide Web. This is Pastor Steve Vellante from Bible Baptist Church in Chickasha, Oklahoma. Today is Friday, March 27th, and we want to pick up where we left off yesterday in our Bible study about passionately seeking wisdom. And we said whenever a problem happens to you or to the people you love and you're in jeopardy, you immediately begin doing research to figure out how you can overcome the problem. And the problem that we're facing today is a worldwide pandemic. And as the days go by, the coronavirus is coming closer and closer to our homes. And we're getting more and more afraid and the restrictions are getting tighter and tighter. And it's necessary for us to keep our spiritual bearings during this time of quarantine and isolation. And so I wanted us to continue on studying and this morning, as my wife and I woke up and had our personal devotions together, we sang this song because it, it's one of our favorite songs and it ministers to our hearts. And it says, when darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil on Christ." The solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Yesterday, I told you that as your pastor, I am most brokenhearted that we can't meet together as a church and encourage one another. But some of you are overcomers. I've opened my mail, and from one family, I received... Um, encouragement cards from each one of the children and they have no idea how those cards blessed my heart as their pastor knowing these young people are praying for me as I'm praying over our church. Others of you have text, encouraging text. Others of you are watching things on Facebook and you're responding with encouraging posts. Others of you are watching on YouTube and also doing the same and I just want to thank you for those that have come by the church to drop off your tithe and you've stopped to talk. And I just want to say thank you for staying connected as a church family. As we go back to our Bible study called Passionately Seeking Wisdom, before we look at verse 16 today, we just want to quickly review what we learned about Proverbs 3.13 yesterday. We said that, first of all, wisdom must be found. And if we're going to find wisdom, that means there's an all-out search. You must seek for her until you obtain her. That's the idea. And the Bible says you are happy or blessed in a right relationship with God. So we said that wisdom is learning to be skillful in one's relationship with God so you are successful in carrying out your responsibilities to worship God, to serve God, and to live a life that's pleasing to God. Where will we find this wisdom? Well, of course, if we want wisdom from God, we must go to the Word of God to, to draw out this wisdom from God. So in Proverbs 3.16, understanding how important wisdom is, listen to what is written. Length of days are in her right hand, and in her left hand are riches and honor. It's a very short verse, but it's building on what we studied in verses 13, 14, and 15. Not only are you in a right relationship with God when you seek after wisdom and you get understanding, it's more valuable than silver, gold, and rubies, and there's nothing that you can desire that can be compared to wisdom. And when you obtain wisdom, when you catch her, what is she holding in her hands? Her left hand, her right hand, sorry, has length of days, and her left hand has riches and honor. Well, among the Hebrews and the Oriental people, the right hand is the position of highest honor, making it the most important thing that wisdom can offer you. So if wisdom is holding in her right hand length of days, that is the supreme thing that God can bless us with as his children, as the fruit of wisdom. It's in our right hand. Now, what do we need when we're in a pandemic? Well, we need wisdom. 
Some of us are thinking what we need is isolation, isolation. No, we need the Word of God because it's the wisdom of the Word of God that's going to show me when I find wisdom and I obtain her, in her hand is length of days. Length of days is not in being just careful. Length of days is a gift from God. It's from being in a right relationship with God where God is pleased with you. So when you find wisdom in God's word, you get what's in wisdom's hand. And what's in wisdom's hand? Wisdom is holding length of days. In a storm where your life is in jeopardy, what are you looking for most? I need protection. Where will I find this protection? I find this protection in my relationship with my God. Daniel was safe in the lion's den and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were safe in the fire because they sought after wisdom. And in wisdom's right hand was length of days. And they did not die in the flame of the fire or by the teeth of the lion because they purposed in their hearts to be faithful to their God. That's what we call biblical wisdom. And so what a joy it is to know that when I find wisdom, when I get wisdom, what's in our right hand? Length of days. What's in our left hand? Now, the left hand is not lesser or unimportant. It just means she has more than one gift. Her gifts are plenteous. And what's in her left hand? Her left hand is riches and honor. Now, you imagine that you're in a pandemic and God blesses you with long life. What are you going to need during that pandemic? You are going to need riches to help those you care about, those that are sick, those that are perishing. And when you seek after wisdom and find her, God gives you this gift of long life. Then he blesses you with, with wealth that you might be used by him to help others who are suffering. And as you behave godly with the riches that God gives you and you minister to the needs of others, it actually causes people to respect you. And so as you use the finances in a good way, you earn respect. I want you to know that during a pandemic, those that hoard the resources, hoard the gloves and hoard the masks, those are not people that are worthy of honor. Those are not people that will be respected when this pandemic is over. Those people that uh, steal the ventilators and then sell them on Facebook or eBay, they are not the ones that are going to be highly honored. Those who served and risked their life to help their fellow man will be the ones that will be highly honored. So what is te wisdom teaching us today? How committed are you to finding wisdom and knowing wisdom from Proverbs, which is the wisdom book, that you are well aware that wisdom has in her right hand length of days and in her left hand riches and honor. Let's pray. Lord, forgive us as a church and a nation for neglecting the blessings found from studying your word. Please give us new eyes to see your wisdom to be more valuable than anything we can desire here on earth. Amen. God bless you and be faithful to study the word to find wisdom that will give you long life and riches and honor.